How does the ozone get there? Well, we already talked about how the ozone gets in the troposphere. The ozone gets in the troposphere um, it's a, a, from a human pollution. It's the result of the production of the primary pollutants, nitric oxide and volatile organic compounds. The nitric oxide and the volatile or organic compounds come from um, the cars, right, automobiles, um, from the emission. And then once those in, uh, nitric oxides and volatile organic compounds get into the air, um, there was a, a complicated series of reactions between the nitric oxide and the VOCs that I'm not going to go into. It was about three reactions that led to the production of um, nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is that nasty uh, pollutant that is, um, contributes to smog. And in the presence of light, in the presence of light, the uh, nitrogen uh, dioxide breaks down to give you the NO and the single atom oxygen, which is very, very reactive. And that single atom oxygen that's produced there in the presence of light will very quickly react with the oxygen that's in the atmosphere, because there's so much oxygen in the atmosphere, to produce ozone. So that's why we call ozone, tropospheric ozone, a um, secondary pollutant because it's a result of the primary pollutants undergoing uh, a change in the presence of light to produce the ozone. So that's how we end up with that kind of higher concentration of ozone down in the troposphere. Um, in the stratosphere, oh, this, this, um, oh, on this printout I got messed up. Well, darn it, here, let me fix this. Ignore that. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that. In the, in the uh, stratosphere, you know, there's oxygen in the stratosphere as well, and Oxygen in the presence of energy, so in the presence of high energy, oxygen will be converted into ozone. Okay. Now, what, what kind of high energy do we need for this to happen? Well, if there's a lightning strike, there's a lot of energy around the lightning strike, and you can, uh, around lightning strikes, we produce ozone, and that's down in the troposphere, and high in the troposphere and low in the troposphere, both. Um, also, around the... Um, Printer, the laser printer, there's arcing electricity there, and that creates enough energy to convert the oxygen in the air around the laser printer um, into ozone. That's where you get the stinky uh, smell. And then up high in the stratosphere, uh, there's more radiation from the sun that is uh, making it to the stratosphere. It gets filtered out before it gets down to Earth, but there's higher energy from the sun up in the stratosphere, and that's one way where we uh, create ozone in the stratosphere. There's some more complicated reactions um, that this is sort of the net-net. There's some complicated reactions to get to this, and we'll talk more about those later. But I just wanted you to know, you know where it comes from uh, on the ground level, or how, how it gets here, from the ground level versus the stratosphere.